Hello guys, uh, Evans here one more time. Welcome to this another tutorial where I will show you guys how to insert um, audio files and um, video files into your HTML um, web page. And I'm going to use front page, um, but um, the concept is the same. Um, I hope you guys will find this uh, useful. I've had uh, some requests from some of you wondering how you can do uh, insert some um, how you can insert some uh, media into your your web page. So I'm going to create just a blank uh, web uh, page, and um, I'm going to save it as um, media dot stm. Okay, I'll just save it as media. Let me put it on um, in the in documents and create a folder for it. Okay, so media uh, website. Okay, and inside here I'll save that page. Now, what I'm gonna do just for illustration purposes, um, I'm gonna put up a table inside here. Okay, so let me just define a table. Um, table and set table. Um, it's gonna have three rows and um, two columns. Um, uh, I don't know if there's anything that I need from here. Collapse border, make them two. Um, I don't think I need anything from here. I'll come back if I need anything. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do is to set the width of this table maybe. Let me just go back to table property. The width in pixel, let me make it um, 600 so that uh, it's... And then the alignment, let me make it um, center. Um, apply and there you go so you have um, a table like that um, I don't know what else I can change um, the other features they can automatically adjust themselves uh, maybe let me just set the dimensions of the height for each uh, cell so go back to the uh, cell property and then um, um, let me just cancel this select uh, a particular uh, cell um, cell property and then specify uh, the height in pixel and I'll make it to be the first one will be 200 okay and I'll specify this other one I'll make it um, let me just say the last one cell property I'll make it um, specify the height it will be 100 okay so there you go now the only thing that I need to do now maybe is uh, let me just put my borders to be that um, the only thing that I need to do I don't know if uh, the table is visible enough um, I'm gonna put some text here um, it's gonna um, say video of talking dog yeah got a video of a talking dog so um, so automatically you notice that the length of this uh, table automatically adjusts so we can control this here we can specify the length since it was 600 so we make it 300 um, okay and then here I'm gonna put a music file music file okay so um, the, um and picture uh, above maybe so here I'm gonna put a picture then a video and a music file below here so uh, to insert a picture uh, rather to insert a video uh, you need to go to insert and then go to picture and select video at the bottom here so I'm gonna select from my desktop um, got some video there of a talking dog this one here and I'm going to insert it there so you will not see the video play in this um, in this um, design mode not even when you put it in preview mode you won't see the only time the video can play is when you go to your browser so let's save it and try to preview in our browser so pub, um, preview website um, in Internet Explorer 
and I'm gonna just allow some active controls to be unblocked and there you go so so there you have um, Alright, so at least you're able to see that um, the video is able to play and the dog is talking in the background and all. So I'm going to have to close this. And um, yeah, the next thing that we need to do uh, is to set some properties for this video. Um, and I think we can set some properties. Let me just verify uh, that. Um, um, Okay, let me just verify that, guys. Um, um, I want to set some properties for this video so that it is able to play. Um, it can play automatically or not. Okay, so it seems I can't. Um, it's just um, start open. Okay, so uh, start on mouse over um, so that maybe once we take the mouse there that's when the video starts let's try to preview it and see if it can work out that way okay so the video doesn't um, okay the video doesn't play but when I over the mouse there the video plays but the problem is that um, the dimensions are set to so like it's a very small uh, image or size so you can also set the dimensions um, of this I'm not so sure where exactly you can set. Uh, okay, so this is the size. Um, let's put in percentage. Let's make it 80% width and occupying um, maybe 60% the height. So let's see if it can work out. Okay, let's see if it can work out. Um, so if it doesn't work out, then I'm going to have to remove the feature that. Um, um, the feature that allows um, okay so there you go okay so um, basically this is how you can insert a video um, this is basically how you can insert the video um, just double click there uh, appearance um, percentage let's make it a hundred percent as well um, yeah, it fits a hundred percent. So go back to preview. Uh, yes, and then allow active. Then, and you see that the video will be able to play just like that. Okay. All right. So this is how you basically insert um, a, a video, guys. And um, the next thing that I want to show you is how to insert a music file. Now, for some reason, I'm gonna have to pause the sound from um, from this video so that um, uh, we don't uh, it doesn't interfere with the sound from the music. Uh, maybe it won't interfere because we have to hover the mouse over in order to be able to play the video. So what I'm gonna do is to just um, put the mouse there and then. Um, um, uh, the other simpler way of doing this, guys, is to select the audio file that you want. Uh, for example, go to the music file that you want, and then um, you can drag and drop it uh, where you want it to be. So I'll drag and drop it in there, and there you see that it has been put there. So I'll double click it, and um, you can have the appearance in terms of the size um, and stuff. So I'm going to uh, specify the size in that I'm gonna make it a hundred percent as well so that the file sort of fills the entire uh, thing there that is available so um, what is supposed to happen um, if you go to preview in browser you save it and allow blocked content uh, so the file is playing in the background but um, I can't see anything here okay but the music that you are you are getting the background is actually the song that is playing from the web page okay so you can do uh, you can do a number of modifications um, the properties for this one as well whether it's going to start when you hover the mouse there 
and um, um, appearance if there's going to be um, sometimes there is um, an allowance for some image to be put there and there is even some alternative text that you can put there so I can put some text for example or even a picture I can pick up a picture let me try to find um, a picture from um, my pictures if I do have any okay let's put this one okay um, you can have a picture represented there um, I hope it doesn't interfere um, with the song and all uh, let me just go back there um, so let's see it starts automatically and preview it in the browser and um, the picture though is very small so you can hardly see um, you can hardly see the picture but what you can do is um, what you can do is because the picture and the the um, the picture and um, the the dimensions for the picture they are kind of um, set in pixels so let me just put a hundred percent there and this put a hundred percent um, say okay I hope that kind of fix it uh, fixes it and um, so go there and there you go the picture is there um, so just um, okay so now the picture has disappeared but uh, we know the picture was there so yeah so another simple way is just to make the picture fit um, in in this other uh, cell there so you can just insert your picture um, in there um, um, yeah just pick up the picture and um, you need to resize this picture as you can see it's very big but nevertheless let me just uh, go to preview and go to explorer and there you go and then allow blocked content and uh, you see that you have a picture here and your file is playing in the background okay so guys I'm gonna have to stop um, I'm gonna have to stop here at least you've known how to insert uh, the files the two files um, the audio file as well as um, the video um, into your HTML page okay so thank you so much and um, like and subscribe my channel and I'll see you in the next video